Are you an insurance agent that's struggling to make ends meet and you really want to earn more money to be able to achieve financial freedom and flexibility? Selling a very simple product, final expense insurance? Well, you found the right video, my friends. I'm going to give you five tips that will help you uncover how you can have consistent income. And these five tips will hopefully take you far, my friends. So I appreciate you joining with me in this content. Before I get into this, my name is Jason. I'm your friend in the business, and I'm very blessed to partner and work shoulder to shoulder with some of the most amazing brand new and veteran agents alike in our national agency here selling life medicare and annuities face to face but more importantly in the telespace so free resources always for your taking at jasonfinalexpense.com and i hope this is everything that you need in this content today so thank you for partnering with us by watching today so first off tip number one if you're taking notes this is so important to grasp, you've got to find a reputable company to work for and partner with. Partners are insanely important to your profitability. You got to make sure that you're with an organization like ours that offers amazing training and support and one on one mentorship. We train agents very deeply because we believe in partnerships. We believe that that's important to find success. So, partners are important. You've got to find a reputable partner to be in a position where you've got a chance of finding profitability. So many horror stories happen of folks that jump into this industry thinking that it's just easy money. Anybody can do it. They dump a bunch of money on leads and don't do a darn thing because they weren't trained and coached and didn't know how really tough this business was because they didn't take the time to find a reputable organization to partner with in training. Training is so important to you translating a simple business in an easier way, but the business isn't easy. So I hope this is a help to you. So number one, find a reputable company, but understand first off that this has real opportunity. There's massive opportunity because 11,000 people are turning age 60 every single day and will do so for the next decade, in the next 10 years. That's an insane amount of people to go serve selling final expense. This is going to help you have consistent income because you've got a consistent pool of people to go help. This is big for you. You've also got to understand there's a high demand for final expense insurance. You selling final expense telesales is an amazing business venture because the people that you serve truly need what you're selling. It's needs-based selling, not some useless product. This is powerful for you to grasp. Your pool of people to talk to, virtually limitless. That's massive. Also, you're going to understand that the final expense demographic, they need whole life insurance to help them with cremation, burial, leaving a legacy behind. It's a very small, simple product to sell, and they sincerely need it. And you will never run out of people to talk to. 11,000 people turning age 65 every single day. This is dynamic for you to grasp when you're trying to have consistent income and achieve financial freedom, selling a very easy, easy product to market. But you've got to make a way for yourself by, number one, understanding that you've got to have a reputable organization so you can overcome some of the obstacles that you'll face with objection handling and scripting and just turnkey systems like what we have. It's important. So it doesn't matter if you partner here or somewhere else. Make sure you find a reputable organization so that you can overcome those obstacles that keep you from being consistent with your earnings, all right? So number two, this is very critical. You've got to be passionate about your work. You must have passion. Money follows passion, and it follows a firm belief. A lot of insurance agents aren't passionate about what they sell, and people can smell that a mile away. You're not going to make consistent money if you're not consistently passionate about the people, but also passionate about the product that you're marketing. This is important in insurance sales. You must have belief. It's the backbone of this industry, and it beats up a lot of insurance agents that think it's all about the money, and you're just beating a loud drum trying to get your money, and then it's going to leave you on the side of the road with probably a lot of lead debt, and that can happen to anybody. It's a performance-based business. Those that do are those that get, and there's no guarantee of success in this industry. 90% of insurance agents fail because sometimes, tip number one, they didn't find a reputable organization. They didn't have good training. They bought a bunch of leads and then got hurt, but you've got to be passionate it and you've got to truly believe that you can do this believe in the product that you sell being a pushy salesman is not good you've got to be passionate about what you're going to do to help these sweet families you've got to believe in your product you have to be confident and competent in what you sell and also in your ability 
to be able to bring value to your consumer. You've got to have a confident and competent ability to sell and save these great people. You're not just selling, you're truly serving them. So understand that your belief, number two, is very important to you having consistent income. And number three, as we dive into this, is you've got to be in a position where you can build true relationships with your clientele base, not being pushy. A lot of insurance agents are pushy, pushy, pushy. I'm going to get my paper. I'm going to get my paper. That's a byproduct of you being a powerful force for good. And that's a byproduct, all right? The people that you can serve and protect, there's a direct correlation to you having consistent income by you bringing consistent value to them. You've got to build relationships that are substantial with your consumers so that they stick and stay with you. You need to have persistency. You've got to be passionate, right? But you've got to keep good relationships with your clientele base so that you can make this. And then they give you referrals, make a way for them. And then guess what? By doing that, it'll make a way for you to have consistent income because you're that center of influence. Get to know them, get to know their families so that you can serve not only one, but now this entire family, you're going to win the right to be able to really serve them. And that's going to lower your lead cost, increase the value that you bring to them. And when you've got multiple people in that home, multiple families that are being referred out, that business is as sticky as you can get. This is big. Let that great relationship that you've built through a sale, right? Saving them heartache. Let them know that you care about their well-being. It's big. It's big. It's not just you being a salesman. You want to have consistent income. Get yourself in a place that you're consistently building solid relationships not just trying to get things from start to finish as fast as you can. The fastest way to failure is to have a shortcut. So tip number three, important. But number four is very powerful. You've got to be persistent. You've got to be persistent. So many people think this business is a sprint. It's not. It's a marathon. The key to making consistent money in this industry is being one that has consistent effort, consistent output for you is important to you having consistent income. This business doesn't come easy. It's simple, very simple. You got to have consistent output, dial, 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 those that do or those that get, right? You've got to be persistent. You can't give up. If you've got that fight or flight where you're the one that flights, you run the other direction, you're probably never going to experience consistent income. A lot of agents don't because they don't do what they know they need to do. They don't have the discipline to be able to do final expense telesales. They can't sit behind a desk and pick up that 8,000-pound phone and bring value and deliver strength to these great consumers. You've got to keep working hard. You may not succeed immediately. You may not succeed on your first dial, your third dial, your second presentation. You're going to get probably popped in the face when you're brand new with objections and obstacles and things that you can overcome. If you would not give up, you want to get consistent income, you cannot give up. You've got to keep pursuing the heart of the consumer in a very professional way, never in a pushy way. Get into a position where you work your leads right and you work hard. You want to have consistent income? It's going to come through consistently working hard, hard work. You want the wealth? W-O-R-K is that dirty word that nobody likes hearing. And I know you guys do want that. And this is how you can have this consistent income. Number five, this is very instrumental. And I know you probably were like, why weren't you talking about the leads and the closing and all this stuff? That stuff doesn't matter if you don't get the first four tips right. If you don't have a good partner, if you don't have a good passion about you, you don't have good relationships in how you're building value over the phone or in the face-to-face -face final expense sales play, it won't matter if you're not persistent. If you got a whole lot of give up, nothing else matters. So number five, you want to have consistent all right, output all right, up into your checking savings account, getting paid, making that money. You've got to make this about having consistent input into your business, buying the leads. You've got to take that leap of faith. In most insurance agents, they fail to have consistent income because they fail to input the lead spend on the weekly. You've got to buy leads on the weekly. A full-time agent, if you want to make $5,000 a week consistently, you need to be buying 100 leads a week, 100 leads a week. 
And if you can have 20 presentations, maybe 30 presentations on 100 leads, they're really good exclusive leads to you. And if you need good exclusive leads, reach out at jasonfinalexpense.com. I can get you some resources on those that are very inexpensive that say life insurance, very important. So if you need those, reach out. We'll serve you. And I hope you like the content so far. And thank you to my subscribers that instigate me every day to drop content to you. You guys are a blessing to me. But understand, $5,000 at 100% compensation – is 5,000 of AP. If you have 100 leads, 20 to 30 presentations, and then you can close, let's say half of them, or maybe only six out of 20, maybe your close rate isn't the greatest because you weren't skilled up in a big way. If you can sell six policies at an average of $69 a month, you just made $5,000 of income. That's big. Six sales at $69 a month is $833 of annual premium. Now, maybe you're like, no, I don't write anything. My average AP is only around 600 bucks, which is kind of the industry average for most insurance agents. Then really, you only need to sell eight sales a week at $52 a month. That's an AP of 625. That gives you your $5,000 of consistent income that you've earned selling final expense telesales or selling final expense face to face this is only 1.6 policies a day maybe you've got one day you got no sales the other day you got three everything works itself out when you stay consistent and persistent you've got to consistently buy leads you want to consistently have income you must buy leads on the weekly on the weekly at a minimum all right you got to believe in yourself if you want to make those bucks and a lot of agents say they want consistent all right income but they don't put the money out to buy leads on the weekly. And that just robs you of what you desire to attain, right? You want to put the ball in your court? Be about buying leads. Be about working the leads. Believe in what you do. Don't lose belief. That's everything, all right? But 1.6 sales a day, that's only eight sales in a five-day work week. That's $52 a month if you're taking notes. From all eight of those sales, that's a 625 AP. That just gave you $5,000 at 100% comp right then and there of AP. This is big for you. Now, if you're one that's like, mm, you know, I, I don't write anything that big. Maybe you're around a $41 a month average. That's a $500 AP. Then you would just need two sales a day. That's not that hard when you've got 100 leads to be taken care of every week. You want the wealth, you got to work for it. That work is important, but you've got to have that wealthy, powerful mindset if you want a chance of making money in an insanely simple industry, but it's not guaranteed. That's why this business has risk, but there's insane reward. When you make it, there's no better life than the independent agent life. You can just leverage and launch and love and take care of these great people and truly love what you do. It's amazing, but you can be consistent when you have the capital put out every week, taking that risk, really working, really believing in what you do, and you don't have to close that much business. If you're one that says, listen, I'm, I, I close bigger cases, you really only need six sales a, a week at an average of 69 bucks a month. That's all you need, six sales. That's 833 AP for all six of them. That's your $5,000 of income right then, right there. So you can be consistent. You can capitalize, but you've got to believe in yourself, believe in your skill set, your will set, in your work set. And you will hopefully have what it takes to really take your career to the next level. But I know it's nervous when we're new and you may not experience success in a day, but you can have it when you're daily, daily driven, daily honed, and you daily are just dialing those times when you are really taking the first things and putting the first things first. It's powerful, my friends. There's no guarantee of success, but once you get it, there's nothing better. Stay persistent. Never give up, and you may just find that you have what it takes to have very consistent income because you invested in the output. Hope this helps you. Hope you liked the video. If I can do anything to serve you, reach out at jasonfinalexpense.com. I appreciate you watching, and I hope this is a help to you. We'll see you soon, my friends, and just know you have what it takes.